Well, we start this midday with developing news. The Travis County Sheriff's Department is investigating after two people were found dead in a Southwest Travis County home this morning. KVU's Jenny Lee is live in the neighborhood with the latest. Jenny, what can you tell us? Hey, Nicole, I'm live with uh, Kristen Dark. She's the public information officer with the Travis County Sheriff's Office. And again, two bodies discovered inside a home this morning after a deputy made a check welfare call. Kristen joins us now. And Kristen, tell us more about that check welfare call. That came in about, what, 545 this morning? About 544 this morning, we received a check welfare call. And our deputy came to the address that you see behind us and uh, was not able to get anyone to answer. And um, there were exigent circumstances in play, and so the deputy made entry into the residence and discovered the bodies of a, an adult male and a child. Tell us more about those circumstances. At what point can someone, a law enforcement agent, make entry? Exigent circumstances can be any number of different things, but the bottom line is it's something that uh, give, gives evidence that someone in the residence may be in need of assistance immediately. Like someone's life is in danger. Exactly. As in this case. Correct. And so when that uh, officer made entry and what, what did he see? What I can tell you right now is that we have an adult male and a child who are deceased and both of them have a gunshot wound. Okay, and are they related at this point? We don't know the exact identity at this time. The medical examiner is on scene and that medical examiner's investigation will determine the exact identity of our victims and will also determine the exact cause and manner of death. And that investigation, at least out here in the field, is about to wrap up as we know. They are in the finishing phases here on scene and then the rest will take place, of course, at the medical examiner's office. Give us more about this process. Uh, uh, the Travis County Sheriff's Office, of course, that investigation will continue for quite some time. Yes, our investigation is underway and we are looking into the circumstances surrounding this. We will be investigating by conducting interviews and um, assimilating the evidence and looking at all of that. And while we're doing our investigation, the medical examiner will work on determining what the exact cause of death was and confirm for us the identities of our decedents. Kristen, what can you tell neighbors out here? Should they have a cause for concern? At this point in time, we have no reason to suspect the public is in any danger whatsoever. And how unusual is this? for two bodies to be found inside their home with gunshot wounds. This is a well-established quiet neighborhood and we did not receive any other calls associated with crime or anything happening in this area. So this appears to be an isolated incident and there is no reason for the neighborhood to be alarmed at all. All right, Kristen Dark with the uh, Travis County Sheriff's Office. Of course, we're gonna talk to a lot of neighbors out here, the Granada Hills neighborhood out here in Southwest Travis County. We'll have much more uh, coming up on KV News at five and six. For now, back to you guys in the studio.